like to say is that Mario Schwab, an architectural low ponytail. It's, it's almost a braid, but it's not quite. Sort of glamorous masculine in the front with a sort of side swept over to the left. And we pulled it down into a low pony in the back and folded it over so there's a, there's a kind of almost the beginning of a braid. We fastened it at the nape with a rose gold barrette that matches the jewellery in the show. If I was to describe the beauty in one word, it would be contour. It is all about the skin, so it's just beautiful skin, highlighted down the nose, Cupid's bow, contour. And we're sort of like using a gloss on the brow as well as on the lid. It's interesting because I have been working with Marius for a long time. You know, he always sort of says, can you give me super skin? Can you give me super skin? He likes to see the shine. The whole project started by looking at Yves Klein, um, Alan James Jones and you know techniques that kind of evoke seductiveness you know I wanted to bring a bit of color into the collection I haven't done it for a long time so the first section is all about airbrushing uh, the technique not in any sense of like altering an image or anything like that it's like seriously the technique of you know how we use it on uh, a classic sort of pinup girl but then putting it on a femme fatale meant something a little bit more seductive and a bit more dangerous. The Hide and Reveal game is a continuity. It kind of came also to the day wear section, um, bring the element of layers um, and sparkle. It felt kind of fresh and new for day wear. So the contouring appears and kind of disappears in different ways, like the bugle techniques that are applied or the rose gold sequence that kind of hugs the body. So. It was very much like this sort of linear system that can elongate a figure but slim it down at the same time. It kind of felt fresh to bring the layered technique into day wear, but also luxury into day wear. Um, you know, it, it, you need to feel special nowadays, you know, you're going through such a hard times and I think women and just generally all of us need a bit of sparkle. So bringing the, the luxury into day wear meant also, you know, through movement, like uh, the flirtatious ribbons that come on the backpack. So, you know, in a little black dress, so it, it's this sort of flirtatious uh, idea of harnessing a garment and putting a bit more, I guess, femme fatale into it.
The embroidery was um, um, again bringing like a little bit of rawness into the the crystal. Like worked quite a lot with marble um, and mixing it together with um, you know a little bit more darker shades of grey or rose gold. Um, it's an elevation of the neck. You know it kind of plays tribute to the woman who is wearing it and. Um, I really, really like the element of something that grows from a neckline. I remember my my auntie always used to wear a beautiful flower in the summer in her décolleté line, and kind of brought me this idea of embroidery that you know can you know elevate the face and the, the wearer. I just like this illusion of like, you know, garments are so mystical. You, you dress up and you kind of hide what you actually like makes a dress central, which is the body. And um, for me, like designing clothes are always kind of a sculptural element, even though it doesn't need to be necessarily something uh, very bulbous or something that is very structured. So even when you do a soft, um, dress or when you apply print on, a, on the dress you have this sort of 3D element which I really like and I think contouring and um, this hide and reveal is kind of bringing a different angle into clothes.